All right, ladies and gentlemen, everybody on YouTube, whoever else is out there, Doom Lad, Ruckus Guest, Month. We're going to see how far into this we can get. We're really getting close to the end. Kill that. And let's move in. So. When last we left off, we had Seaman. Har Har. And you know what? <clears throat> to get a good look at the semen that we're looking at, the uh, brain shut down. This is the hammocks. We know that there are four semen unidentified in the hammocks. Let's see if we can find them all. So, good news, none of these guys down here are who we're looking for. So everybody's up here on the top part. This guy... This guy, interesting. This guy, so that's three guys without identities, although I'm pretty sure that's the bosun's mate. So let's, let's exclude him for now. This guy, this guy. What in God's name is happening? Okay, this guy, sorry. So we got our two Africans, or one of them, one of them, God, it's so confusing. This guy with a gun. Have we seen this guy? I, I have no memory of this guy. And he's a two triangle. We might go after him next just because he's a two triangle. But he's definitely an unknown seaman. Oh, yeah, this balding guy. Wait a second. Baldy down here isn't on the list of hammocks. Which means he's not one of our four guys. Wait a second. We should have four seamen here. Okay, what if... I know I went, last episode I went to this whole deal that this guy was the Frenchman. So let's say he's not. And we have this guy, this guy, and this guy. That kind of leaves the mysterious bald guy in the corner as the Frenchman. Where did he die? Well, I mean... It is possible that he's the Frenchman. How do we know he fell overboard to his death? How did I determine that? That's how. Because he was probably one of the three people that were being tipped over did he show up here? We're going to see Abigail again. They both dis disappeared without showing their deaths. True, but he's in the very last chapter, or the very last part of the Doom chapter. This is him. <sighs> we didn't see how he died because we were told how he died.
Yeah, this is the bosun's mate. Yeah, you're right. Bosun freaks out because he saved him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Bosun thought he saved him, gets his arm taken off by the beast. His mate is stabbing, trying to protect his, uh, I don't even know how that works, client, uh, employee? They drag him down after the whole mess happens, after the bargain chapter happens. A lot have happened. This guy disappears, and all we know is that he's... We can't find his remains. He was torn apart by the beast. Okay, that does a couple of things. So, let's count... Oh, wrong one. Semen, semen, semen. What we have here is a lot of semen. Just semen all over the place. Yeah, unknown. Put it on unknown for now. We got an unknown semen here. We got an unknown semen here. So, semen, 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 semen. These are the last four guys that we can identify. Right? These are the last four guys that we have no idea what the hell just happened. They're the ones we haven't identified. Who are they? How do we know? So, let's take a look. This guy still has 11 memories. This guy has nine. This guy has four. We're going to save him to last. And this guy has seven. But he's got two triangles. We should be able to figure out who he is. He's a lot easier than the others. Let's start with him. Starting with um, cargo... Useless information. Useless information. Uh, bitter cold. We know he's one of the guys in the hammock. That's no new, not new information. He was one of the gunmen while he was um, in this. That I don't really th think that tells us anything about him. Let's try this one. Oh yeah. Let's see what he was doing here. I had a lot of dead people, y'all. A lot of dead people go good with mustard. I don't even know where the fuck that came from. Why do you guys listen to me? This is... Outside the first mate's cabins. What's up there, leg? Alright. Poor surgeon guy. Yeah, we're still pretty sure that's the second mate. He's not one of the top men. Yeah, it's, he's helping people. Okay, he was part of this mess. Awesome. Awesome. Does that really help us figure out who he is, though? Load her up, we best push off. Give her heal, will you? Yeah, that's right. We figured this guy out. I don't see any tattoos.
we might end up having to tell from some of the other chapters. I sort of checked and loaded on myself. Okay. I shut up. I shut up. I shut up. Is he the Irishman? This is our next uh, spot. This is where we go to next. If he's the one talking to... Uh, well, we'll find out. I want a closer look at that. Pardon me, miss. No, I need sooner than that. Alright. Listen close. I shut it up. The second mate. Irish. Fuck. The mate was talking. And since he's a second mate, he's Irish, so it doesn't help. This guy doesn't talk. Nice nips. Sea creatures with nips. What do they think of next? No, no, no. We're back here. The next one down? No. This one is. I think this will lead us to part three. It's when the second mate dies. I probably should have checked to see if our man was here or not. Uh, yep, he's here somewhere. Yep, here he is. Okay, that's the Russian. We got him right. Nichols is being a little bitch. And then there's our guy here. He was speared. Okay, what we do know is that this guy... Give us a weapon. God, I wish I could hear that again. I wish I could play it again. But it's not so easy to play, is it? There's nothing here that'll just... Huh. Give us a weapon. Give us a weapon. It's a British kind of way of saying things. Here, love, give us a weapon. Yeah, that's... this guy's English. Two Englishmen. Alexander and George Shirley. 
George Shirley was sleeping with the Chinese. I could take a chance and call him Alexander. This is the calling. Give us a weapon. Huh. Any of our other seamen up here? No. He's the only one. I don't get it. Nice shell there. There's so much about this that bothers me. It could go either way. God, I wish I could listen to that again. Okay, you know what? I can, duh. I just need to kind of dilly-dally a little. Long way to do this, but all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dying, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know it's terrible. Things are, tor are horrible all the time. All right, let's listen. Give us a weapon. I didn't get much out of that. I can't really pin his accent. And boy, I was listening. He didn't sound Irish. He's either Alexander or George. Okay, we spent enough time in this area. Uh, he is with John Naples. Um, Al Alexie, Alexie, and Henry Brennan. That isn't going to help. I'm pretty sure neither of these guys are Irish. That wasn't a guess. Well, it was, it was kind of a guess. The earring is what made me think, wait, Sierra Leone. Hey, Bucktooth is named Samuel. We're getting really close to the end of this. So this guy is British. This guy's English. This guy's English. That which means this guy's Irish. 
don't know if I like the taste of that. I don't know if I like that kind of thing where there's a lot to mess with this guy. Mainly, the way he disappeared was really weird. The way he disappeared is that it's implied what happened to him. But we never actually see what happened to him. So rather than doing this... I want to see what happened right before he died. Gunner's deck. So, he's in front of a cannon, but then his body just disappears. And it's kind of implied that he was pulled out the window. I hate to have used that guess. That was kind of a guess that that guy was from Sierra Leone. Okay. We could just play shuffle. You guys want to play shuffle? Shuffle is fun. Here's how it works. Let's say this guy is Irish. All right. Uh, I'm really going by the fact that he is as white as, like, uh, anyway. So, let's say this guy's Irish, right? Uh, that makes this guy George. And this guy Alexander. That uh, doesn't seem right either. Well, we could call this guy... George, and this guy, Alexander. He doesn't look like an Alexander, though. He looks like a George. <laughs> How about we go ahead and call them unknown for now? Interesting, though. I have no more pages. This is it. Martin Perot we know is correct. The ship steward we're pretty sure is correct by process of elimination. And Philip Dahl we know is correct. We've got these guys. The officers are settled. Can you, can you see him through the window in the next memory? No. And it's really infuriating. So, check this out. Here's this guy. He's like, oh no, I'm, I'm being tugged. Like being crushed by a cannon that's lit that I lit to make it so that my cannon shoots the steward? Gunner. Hilarious. That my cannon shoots the gunner and decapitates him with a cannonball. And look, here's some cannons and some stuff. And, and then we actually go to the past to take a look at this, right? Uh, door's the other side, sorry. Then you go to this guy's death. Now, notice it's this guy's death. And it's it's the gunner's death and not that one guy's death. Kablam! All right, so, boom, gunner's dead. Gunner is probably as dead as dead can get for a good long while. They will not invent ways that people could be more dead than the gunner is dead. Where's the other guy? He disappeared. What? He's not in the next room? I can't see him out the window. Like, I can't ID him anywhere. That's really cool. I like how the flash from the cannon lights up the uh, tentacles, right? I mean, we can we can hide in these 
uh, barrels, I guess, and take a look at this hat. He's not hidden in the barrels either. He just fucking disappears. And it's really infuriating. How's a man supposed to enjoy a gun-wielding tentacle monster that decapitates gunners with cannonballs? Oh, yeah. He's just gone. He's just fucking gone. He was shot so hard with a cannonball as well that his matter ceased to exist. My guess... They get blasted to the next room. See, that's what I thought too. Except... Can't go in. And the hole is really not big enough for an entire body. It's just disappeared. I can't get a bead on him anywhere. It, it almost feels like a glitch. It feels like an almost like an oversight. Like, hey, motherfuckers, where's the dead body? There's supposed to be a glorious kaboom and a dead body. Where's the other dead body? Yeah, he just disappeared. He clipped out of the ship. Motherfucker just wizard corpse just disappears like magic. It's really infuriating, which is why I didn't start with this memory. I started with the next one over. And that's going to be the real hang-up. This guy's death is going to be the real hang-up, even if we figure out who he is. Because we really have, like, uh, this semen and this semen. And I still say this guy looks like a George. Why does he got two triangles? He is a lot harder to pin down than the others. So these two guys. These two guys are the hang-up of the rest of the game. These three guys. I may not be able to finish this tonight, and that's infuriating. Yeah, look at this hole. Just, pardon me. This hole is not big enough for a corpse to burst through. He got shot out the other window if he did. And... There is no other body. That's infuriating. <sighs> let's take a closer... Let's take another look at our candidates. Incidentally, any of the candidates here? No. So. This guy supposedly fell overboard in the doom. 91. Well, a couple of people who died on the ship didn't leave a corpse. Like this guy, I'm pretty sure went overboard. There were a couple of other people who went overboard too, like the purser. And Nathan Peters. if Nathan Peters knew this guy. The Irishman disappears, or I assume he's Irish. And this guy, speared by a terrible beast. We saw that just recently. So... If it weren't for this guy, if we could tell how he died. Like, maybe he fell overboard. If that's true, we could play Shuffle. Which I know is guessing, but what do you want me to do? 
I still say this guy looks like a George. Now? Solve the two triangle. That's this guy. And this guy is kind of driving me nuts. Yar, he's driving me nuts. Hmm. All right, two triangle. Let's take a look at this guy. First off, unknown semen. Unknown semen. Also, we just, I have no idea what happened to you, man. Unknown semen. We are going to focus on you, my friend. Let's start at the beginning. Loose cargo. Which means he was in loose cargo and loose cargo 2, electric boogaloo. In both of these cases, uh, we need the um, cargo deck. I don't know if we'll be able to find any further information, but why the hell not? He was gently caressed by the beast. All right, where is he? Because, like, everybody and their dog is here anyway, especially all the semen. But especially this guy, which is who we're looking for. What you doing, man? What you doing? Is that you? Nope. The Russian can't get around you. This guy just falls to his death. Bloody stowaway. The hell is he? Yeah, I know, that's not him. It's this guy again. He was asking for it. Look at what he's wearing. Actually, I am looking at what he's wearing. This is George Shirley. Am I going mad, or is this a Chinese coat? I might just be imagining things, but I think that's what actually is going on here. If that's true, he was hanging out with the Chinese people in the uh, in the hammock situation. All that's happening is that they're carrying cargo. This isn't actually telling us much. And we can't even get a good look at anybody. Yeah, this is useless. What else you got for me? Oh, I should have looked at that guy's shoes. Bitter cold, which means he's in a hammock. That tells us nothing new. He's one of the gunmen. Let's take a closer look. Anchor, 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 anchor. I really want to finish this tonight. That would wrap up my month so good. Puck Seng Lao. You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. He's a gunman. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. None of the other three guys is here. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wolf. 
I'm a moron. I could have identified this guy ages ago, and he was drive. He and his mate were driving me fucking up the wall. That I feel like such an idiot. Ready, men. In. Fire. We got no names for any of these guys. Like that's not how they were identified. Okay, we know this guy's a lousy shot. Look at that. He didn't just miss a little. He missed a lot. Oh no, he kind of got the guy's hand. You know, if this guy was super cool, he could have caught the bullet. He'd be like, yeah, I'm dead, but I fucking caught two bullets. One of them just lets it go and it falls down to the ground. That would have been fucking awesome. Uh, point being, though, this isn't helping. And... On your toes, boy. How can you do this? Uh, load her up. Hash, best push off. Go. Give her a will ya, Captain. Slack the lifts and lower the boats. Whole cruise. He's here. You know what's weird is something is telling me this is the Irishman. And I don't know why. It's it's maddening not knowing. And it would be a lot easier if I could tell you what happened. This guy. His fate is so strange. His fate is so weird. Because we just... Was he crushed by a be terrible beast? Was he torn to pieces? I don't know. I don't, don't know what happened to his body. He just disappears. You look like a uh, Alexander now. And I'll call you George. But that doesn't help. Like, we might have the names correct right now. But it doesn't help. Because we don't know what happened to this guy. This is maddening. I'm I'm at a loss. I'm actually fucking at a loss right now. I don't know what to do. We've looked at all three of these guys' memories. And the thing that seems to be a hang up. God, maybe he is English. The thing that's the hang-up is this guy. This guy's the problem. Because I don't know how he died. And it's just... Where did you disappear? You disappeared in the Doom Part 4. All right. Can we find your body in the Doom Part 5? It also happens on the same deck when the guy was crushed. I've looked before he disappeared. I looked during his disappearance, but I didn't look after. Lost at Sea is all we can say without a guess. That, but Lost at Sea is as much as unknown, so that doesn't help. And I don't think it had a Lost at Sea option. Gunner deck. Crushed guy. This guy. Yep. Let's see if we can find his corpse. Even out the window. Let's see if we can just find the bald guy's corpse. Loose, 
Capitation. What about the other guy? No, no. Highlight the body. Highlight the goddamn body. I want to know who this is. All right. That's the gunner. That's the, um, the Russian. Where's the other body? My guess pulled out the window is where he is. Can I climb topside? Can I get a look at what's going on topside? No, because... Because <sighs> these two guys, the Stairmasters, are friggin' in my way. Can't look out these windows well enough. Hey, meats gets dirties. Aha. Aha, that didn't help me. Just just this guy, that's all I care about. How did he die? How did he die? I don't know, he just disappeared. He just fucking disappeared one day. Maybe we can see him in Doom 6 or 7. You know what? Even if his corpse is there, he'd show up on this list. Now, nope, this is the last time. We don't even see his corpse after this. And honestly, can you blame them for, for not showing his corpse? He was swept over sea by possibly the beast. So he's grabbed by the beast and what? Eaten? Was he eaten by a terrible beast? Devoured. By a terrible beast. Because we don't know, he just fucking disappears. doesn't work. It's not fitting right. I don't know. I am... I can't believe it. I, I think I'm defeated. I've got nothing. I am three away from whatever this is right here. And I've got nothing. Ah. Uh, eating my last moon pie. Little Debbie's. It's delicious. Because I got no ideas. Nothing's coming to mind. I was able to do what? 54? 54 is huge. Stefan, the dancing zebra, what do you say? Run in place? Hmm. I could try it. Maybe do some dancing. Chopping? Yeah, man. Read a book? I, I could try that too, man. 
But here I am flipping through the books to find. Tell me if it's right. This chapter will remain until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Is it a hint book? It could be. I mean, we can try that. And then play shuffle with the names. Unknown officer. What? No. Oh, sorry. Unknown. Fucking disappears. I think that's George. Nope. What if this is the Irishman? Keep him as George. Call him Alexander. Call him Alexander. Whoa! Two fates. Two fates. Motherfucking shenanigans. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. You're supposed to get... They're supposed to... Two fates? They're supposed to be done in threes. That was the whole point until just now. Until just now. So who's missing? Martin Perro. Fate unknown. Thanks to the speared by a beast. We know how he died. Philip Dahl, fate unknown. George Shirley. Why isn't he here? Why don't we have his name? So this is George Shirley. There's no other person he could be. And we don't know how he died. He just fucking disappeared. What's this button do? No, I've, I've already read that. So... So Martin Perot, this guy, doesn't... He, he, we don't know what happens to him. There's, there's nothing that says anything happened to him. He doesn't even disappear. I'm now at this weird stage, which I, I don't know if I should leave or not. Yeah, the game is messing with me. This is the last time we see him, and there's nothing to say what happens to him. He doesn't ever show up after this. And I don't think there's any mention of what happens to... To the third mate. How many pages is the bargain? One, two, three, four, five in the Lazarette. What? Lazarette? Wait, what the hell is the Lazarette? Is that the cargo? Yeah, it's in, it's in the front. 
What do you think? Think I should get off the ship now? Maybe I just will not know what, what happened to these last crew. And that's why it gave me two instead of three. Because there are five fates unaccounted for. Maybe it's time for me to get off the ship. One, two, three, four. Wait, where's the fifth? Fuck. We have four people with unknown fates. All right, let's go. I, I think I've suffered enough. Let's... So let's see what happens. Howdy, mate. All done. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. If you have still business here, climb up and finish it. Else I'll make to port. Make to port, man. Make to port. Can't believe I saw that suitcase on the way to Africa. Finally. Sit down so you don't fall out. <laughs> Zebra wants some fighting spirit. Yeah. Uppercut, uppercut. Jab, jab. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a zebra. One week later. Okay, prepared by company officer of investigation. Let's do this. Uh, Squad Atlantic sunk in a storm. Claim 20,000 pounds. Cargo. All cargo lost. Cargo crown. All cargo lost. Captain Rock... Robert, suicide. First mate. Uh, this is basically what we already said. I think what would be more interesting is Martin Perot. Unknown. Finding of merit. State awarded. So we don't know what happened to him right here, but he still got has a claim. Davies, fourth mate, fined 15 pounds for the murder of a crewmate. How much was a pound in 1807? Probably quite a bit. Torn apart by a beast. I'm glad they accept that beasts exist. We, we already kind of know this. Estate unknown. Estate awarded. So the estates are also fined, I guess, whenever he f they fuck up. Like, murder of crew. Abigail, crushed, beast, no claim made. I guess it'd have to go to her family, which was a captain, and can't really give him anything. Really? He was knifed and there's no claim made? Live Africa. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, we have some people alive. Emily Jackson was uh, alive, found in Africa. Murder of a crewmate. She was fined 35 pounds. Jesus. Uh, Miss Jane, finding findings of demerit of abandonment of crew and vessel. But she was a passenger. Uh, I guess that's why it's only 10 pounds. Claude, burned, spiked, shot, speared, unknown. Oh, that's Philip Daw. What really did happen to him? I guess we'll, we'll, we might find out later. I don't know. Uh, sorted, knifed, crushed, alive. Here we go. Davy James, fourth mate. Finding of demerit, abandonment of crew. No claims made. Wonder why not. Exploded, knife, spiked, fell, shot, electrocuted, decapitated, speared, crushed, speared, crushed, clubbed, shot, drowned, drowned, fell. Club killed, fatal illness, another fatal illness, crushed, crushed, spiked, knifed, fell, speared, unknown, George Shirley, 
which I think he fell overboard. No, that's right. George Shirley was the uh, the guy that we couldn't that just disappeared. Fucking disappeared. He was awarded twenty five pounds, or his estate was. Preliminary draft of assessments has been approved by the Royal Trade Guanar. Gu- Gu- Gar- I can't even do that one. Total claim twenty nine thousand three hundred and thirty five pounds on behalf of the Honorable Estate Company. I certify that my statements are accurate and declare this matter closed in its entry. I'm not going to try and read that. Yeah, what? Okay, cool. We keep a pocket watch. Right arm. Farm out. The book was returned to its original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. <laughs> um... One year later. Uh, hello? Uh, just, 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 mo- I was just having tea. Okay. Oh, good. Mrs. Whittakins is giving me a... Oh, goodness. I'm just going to stare at my cup. Huh. Five after ten. What, what, what? Can you believe a letter at this hour? <laughs> Sweet magic watch. I'll be turning in now. Yeah, thank you for giving me my second tea. So you might think about going to bed as well. Oh, uh I have a I have a glowing letter. Sure sure. Let's check out the glowing letter. Uh, Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. Although the book was not fully solved, he asked me to express his appreciation at your attempt. He understood the difficulty of the task and that his final wish is to see the complete book would not come Easily. Oh, this is basically, you didn't get it all. You didn't get it all is what it's saying. Of the four of us that survived the Oberdin's terrible ordeal, only three remain now. We are content with our situation here in Morocco, as request no further correspondence. Wait a second, wait a second. Evan sent the book. Was Evans on the manifest? Who was he? There were two women, and that just leaves two others. Did the purser escape? I don't remember. Was he the purser? Jane Bird. Well, that's not good enough. (laughs) That's not good enough. It was the suitcase. Was it the doctor that sent it to me? No, the doctor died. Right? No, that was the doctor. Evans was the doctor? It's not good enough. (laughs) I'm not happy. Hey, Townsend! (sighs) 
It's a good game, damn it. But it's not complete. And I don't know what to do about it. And we're not going to get the bargain unlocked. We're not going to get the bargain unlocked unless we complete the whole book. Unless we... So, so it's not going to be revealed to us in the bargain what happened. There's things to be told. There's still some things to be told. at 8 o'clock, so that makes it 10 o'clock-ish, you know, plus or minus, probably plus a couple of minutes. I'm not done, but the question is, should I record finishing? Hmm. The zebra is telling me to stop. The zebra is telling me this. This is cancer. This is so much cancer. This is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors building in my back and it's weighing me down all heavy. Not good enough. 56 fates solved. Not good enough. I wonder what Rewind does. Well, that's an hour, so... <laughs> As the zebra says, for now, we're going to move on. But I'm coming back. Like, I'm just going to take a break, and then I'm coming back because I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. So... For the people in the stream, give me a second. I'll be right back. For everybody on YouTube's, you gotta wait a day. 